prime factors of a number. Let's start with 24. Write down the number, put a circle around it. You can make 24 with a times table sum. Let's use 2 times 12. Again, put a circle around each number. When you branch the number into two factors, if you get a prime number on one of the ends, put a double circle around it. That's like a dead end. You can't go any further down that branch. Now let's work on the 12. How could we make 12 with a times table sum? Let's go for 6 times 2. Again, if you spot a prime number, put a double circle around it. Let's work on the 6, because this is now a dead end. How do we make 6 with the times table sum? We could have 2 times 3. Both of those prime numbers, so let's put a double circle. Now, every branch has reached a dead end, so we finished. So, we write down on this side, prime factors of 24 are, let's see which numbers came up. At the bottom, we've only got a 2 and a 3. OK, there's a way of showing that these prime factors multiply back up to make 24. Let's bring them down with arrows. OK, 2, 2, 3, 2. If we times these together, we should get 24. Let's just check. 2 times 2 is 4. Times that by 3, we get 12. Times that by 2, we get 24. Which is the number that we started with. So this is a way of expressing 24 in its prime factors.